guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Hi guys, how's everybody doing? Welcome old subscribers, welcome new. Alexa, what's the time please? The time is 10 am So guys, about quarter past nine this morning, I took Max, my chihuahua, out for a walk. Okay. I live by myself and Max lives with me. I've got two elderly cats. They're beautiful, they're wonderful, they're old, they're a bit slow like me. And I hope when I get up in the morning now, I'm 53 and my joints ache and I'm not a young person. And all I want to do is like, you know, just have some company with somebody at some point right because i haven't had any proper company for over four years now and i was going up to my mum's about twice a week at one stage then it went to once a week and now i don't go up to my mum's at all in fact this monday coming i wouldn't have seen my mother jennifer for two weeks now and she's my mum right we have i'm having a break because all we did was argue i you know, my dad's passed on, Derek's passed on, and she is on her own. She's Derek's widow. I'm Derek's daughter. So it just seems to get loud whenever I start to do a video. I don't know why, so I'm going to shut the doors and windows. I have not a clue why. Somebody's making a loud noise. Right, that's better. Um, so, what was I on about? I don't even know. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, you join a dating site basically because you want to find a like-minded individual to spend some time with. But all I'm getting is scammers, people that want to flash themselves on WhatsApp, on video. I'm an older person. I don't want to do that. There's other ways they can entertain themselves. I, I mean, if I'm so whatever it is they're saying I am, why do they want to expose themselves on video camera to me? Men. And I've had this problem since 2002. Right? This is when it all began, 2002, when the internet started. I've got some kind of freak internet stalker that won't leave me alone. And 20 years is a long time for some freak to keep pestering you with emails and trying to I don't know what it is, but I wish it'd go away. I'm, I'm older now. I want to settle down. I want to sit on a sofa like a normal couple do and watch a film together. Go to the cinema with somebody. Have a coffee, you know, with a guy around my own age. All young lads want to do is use you. They, they, they're not going to settle down with a middle-aged woman. And I know that, and I'm in my 50s, I can choose now who I want to speak to, who I don't. And it just sickens me that men use women in a sexual manner for their entertainment. Half the time they don't even show their heads. <laughs> they, they, <laughs> they want to talk to me for two minutes on WhatsApp video to show themselves. I mean, it could be, I, I don't know, anyway, let's not, not get on to that. That's another subject, another time. But I'm, when I went out my dorm this morning, I had Max on the lead, and I didn't know my next-door neighbour, woman, was, was outside. So Max barked. That's what dogs do. They alert you if someone's near, right? Not aggressive, he just barked, yeah. Chihuahua. <laughs> That's it. The woman next door spoke to me. She went, it's all right, you can go on. And then she went, Charlie, just hold on a minute, the dog, the dog's there, the dog, the dog. Now, she doesn't know my Chihuahua's name. I, I mean, I've been here two years and I don't really know the next door neighbours really well. I keep myself to myself. I know their first names, and 
and I know what they look like, but I, you know, when I first moved in, I was told not to go in and out other people's flats and to not to get too friendly because arguments happen. That's what I was told, so I've done that. And then she went again, yes, it's the dog, the dog, Charlie. So obviously one of her kids is called Charlie. So after going out the front of my apartments and putting rubbish in the bin, she went into her car with, I, I presume, Charlie. And um, somebody slammed their door shut as I walked past, really hard, like my mother, Jennifer, shuts the French windows when I'm sat round there with her. So it made me jump out my skin. Carried on walking, wasn't angry, wasn't upset. I do my little balloon videos. I keep myself to myself and I don't want to get cross. His kids weren't that bad this morning and I'm taking another perspective on it. I'd rather be friendly with people than be nasty. So I, I'm just ignoring it, carrying on with my own life and ignoring it. Ignoring it. When I came home last night from a walk with Max, my neighbour upstairs was parked outside with his Ford Mondeo and his kid was bare-chested by the front door of the building. So I walked around the back. Me and Crystal walked around the back. And then what I noticed on the floor was a packet of Benson and Hedges. I don't, me and Crystal doesn't smoke. So on the floor, around the back of the flats, was a packet of Benson and Hedges cigarettes and if you open them someone smoked a couple six seven there's one two three six nine ten eleven there's fifteen cigarettes in there I presume it's a box of yeah twenty so there's fifteen left so someone smoked five and they've probably dropped them now I don't smoke I, I myself don't smoke cigarettes, I think it's a filthy, disgusting habit and it destroys your, your lungs and your heart, it makes you age ten times quicker and it stains your fingers and your teeth and your skin. And I have said, you know, smoking kills and it can, it can lead to very nasty diseases including cancer. So I picked up the box of cigarettes because I didn't want a child to pick them up or a teenager and to smoke them. So they're in my flat still, these Benson and Hedges, Benson and Hedges. And I went round the back and I went up the stairs and avoid, avoided a confrontation with my neighbour. I wasn't, I'm not cross, I'm not angry. But when a kid is stood bare-chested against the communal door, it's a bit awkward, isn't it? So I walk round the back, up the stairs, into my flat. <coughs> and then I had a Sainsbury's delivery, and it was a very pretty young lady with black hair and a bun in her hair. And, I, I, you know, I'm a middle-aged woman. And I, I'm happy with myself. You know, I've had a family, I was married, and I, I've had fun times, and I've got great memories. And I'm happy with my life. So I walked around the, the riverside this morning. There was a female fitness trainer, female woman, with a brown dog in a children's playground, in the children's playground, with a big brown dog. And she was working out. And then this dark-haired chap, like my neighbour upstairs, but younger, still wearing the same puma top from yesterday, grey, pu puma on it, same top, with a pram and his kids, was, you know, kids play in that area, and there is a woman working out with a big brown dog in there. So, we'll pass that. Then there was a man like my neighbour upstairs going into the co-op in his t-shirt and shorts. And there was all these women on the field, all these pretty, you know, younger women. 
and I saw a lovely light blue bloke boat on the water. I ignored everybody else and I just filmed the boat and I enjoyed my day because what other people do is their business unless they get into my face and upset me, then I will react. But, you know, people, if they want to talk to each other, if they want to dance, work out, it's none of my business unless it affects me or it's endangering people's safety or their own safety, right? Working out in a little kiddie's playground is not a really good idea, but if she wants to do that, that's her business. I'm just going to mind my own and get on with what I'm doing. You don't get angry with other people. You deal with it in a positive manner. You talk calmly, respectively. You don't shout, get annoyed, because it makes people flare up, and that's when fights happen and people get injured. Right? So behave like adults and just carry on with your own business and leave other people alone, which I'm doing. So I'm doing my spot of running because I'm trying to keep fit and lose weight gently. And I, I've come back home. Right? I am not angry. I'm not going out anywhere today. That was a one-off yesterday. I haven't got any money. And I'm just going to stay indoors and be happy, right? And please just leave me alone. Just, it doesn't matter what somebody looks like. We, we, we're born, we live, we die. And other people, making other people's lives a misery is not making it any better. Guys, be nice. Don't be cruel and nasty to other people. Right? And I don't need my mum anymore. I'm 53. Right? I know it's hard and it's tough. Right? But at the end of the day, you're born into this world alone and you die alone. Right? And you've got to deal with that. And I am quite happy by myself. If you don't want to join in the fun and you want to be miserable and poke fun at me, can you do it by yourself? Thank you. See you later. <laughs>